Hey everybody, I'm gonna try to make a experimental video here. Uh, don't know if my battery's gonna last, so I may have to reshoot this. But let's go ahead and get started. Uh, new location today, this is uh, in front of my house, we got in front of my koi pond. Um, so hopefully the waterfall's not too loud. Let's see how this goes. But I'm just doing a collection update since I haven't done one in a long time. We got a couple new things that I'm just gonna mix and match like I normally do. I don't like doing videos in just one knife unless I have a lot to say about it. Uh, so we'll start with uh, my latest Murray Carter. I got a white crane from him. That's this one right here. It's uh, bigger than the neck knives. I think the blade's about five and a half inches. But this one's special because Murray told me about it before he ever posted it for sale. It is a Damascus knife, as you can see. Uh, the Damascus outer layer with the typical white steel core. Um, normally this is a very expensive knife, but it has a small flaw right there at the forge weld. So I got a really good price on it. Uh, it's incredibly light. It's got a great taper in the tang. Red liners, desert ironwood handles. It's incredibly well balanced and of course, scary sharp. It is an awesome, awesome knife. Um, been using it for a lot of different things. It's the sheath is uh, this little in the waistband kydex, so it uh, haven't been able to carry it much uh, with summer clothing. Uh, but I don't really need to. It's kind of more of a collector's piece, and you know, play around with it when I can. So I, I just think it's beautiful. Hopefully you guys can get a good look at that blade. And you can see it's he put X's over the Carter logo and over the Master Smith logo because he's considering it a second because of that flaw. But I don't care. It saved me a bunch of money and got me something I normally wouldn't be able to afford. So that's that. And next, I got both of the Benchmade Barrages. I got the full size one. Uh, with a black blade plain edge. You have to go to stores to get these, I guess. I don't I haven't seen them online. Because um, Benchmade doesn't really list plain edge black blades in their catalog. They only list the black blade combo edge. Um, I think these knives are pretty cool. They're really light for what they are. It's pretty much just an auto knife. You know, it's got the same type of spring mechanism as an automatic switch blade. But it's got the access lock. It opens really fast. Um, the lockup, questionable for access. Uh, I think it's because they leave the pivots really loose on these things. Um, and the pivot adjustment, as you can see, is covered up by the Zytel handle scale, which kind of sucks. Um, but it only, it only wiggles a little bit. It's not terrible. And then, got the mini one here. And the mini, I think, is more fun. Um, I don't know, I just think it looks better. It feels a little bit better in the hand. Um, the, the big one reminds me of the 710, which is one of the reasons I like it. Um, this one's got even more blade wiggle, which really sucks and you can't adjust it. I'm thinking about sending them in, but Benjamin probably leaves them loose on purpose for the sake of the spring action. Uh, apparently this one knife of the year with some magazine or some organization, I don't remember which one it was. And, uh, which is cool because I didn't think much of these knives when they first came out. Um, but once you get them in hand, you realize that they're actually a really, really cool little knife. So there's the mini barrage. Um, sorry, this video quality I think is going to be kind of crappy. Not really giving you guys a very good view of the knives. Uh, last one is one that I'm very excited to have. Um, I don't know how many people are familiar with the USN forums, the Usual Suspects Network. Uh, but Spyderco did a forum knife, and it's got the USN logo right there on the blade. It only comes in combo edge, but these are the USN colors, black and toxic green. And it's basically just the waved Endura, but it is really cool. It's a limited sprint run. You can only get it through the factory outlet store, and if you have a code as a USN member, you get a discount. And I got two of them. So, one to use, one to put in the safe. 
Um, so, that's my collection update for today. Hopefully this video doesn't suck too much. If it does, I'll get rid of it and redo it. Later, dudes.